Okay, very good work on special selectors. We're at the last exercise. We're going to loop back to our career website and we're going to add some milestones, okay? So you already know we're going to copy our code over from the previous career profile website and then we're going to expand it. What we're going to do is add a new HTML page called milestones.html, which is going to contain a checklist of steps to take to get that job that you that you want, okay? You potentially want, all right? No pressure here. We're just exploring, okay? Add content to the milestones page. So we're going to give it a title like steps to success. You're also going to need three div tags similar to the other pages which are going to be header, content, and footer as the classes. All right, we're going to give a title in the header. In the footer we're going to add links to the other pages and then we're going to go back to our existing pages and make sure we link to this new page. Remember we want to be able to move around the whole website um, very easily. So we're going to do that in the footer. In the content div we're going to have an ordered list like you see down here that has some steps of milestones that we need to achieve to get to that job. One of our ordered list items is going to be an unordered list or sub list that lists activities that should be done while reaching the milestone is in progress, okay? To find out how to reach your goal, you can look at the BLS site, which is the Bureau of Labor Statistics. I have that opened already, and I'm going to link it down below so you can always go back to it if you have that tab closed, which I'm sure you do by now. All right, and then, or you can use this um, really good resource, the bigfuture.collegeboard.org, which I already have opened in a new tab. So what's cool about this is if you're not sure what you want to study, if you still haven't started this project and you're not sure what career uh, to explore, you can use this tool here that basically will narrow down some possible college majors based on an interest, right? So if you like working with children or the nature and the outdoors or you like animals, right, you select it and based on your interest, what you like, it will give you some options for majors and then for majors, some options for careers. So really great resource. Also, I will link to this below. So if you want to use this, it'll be down below and also it's right here in the exercise. Okay, so here's an example of what our milestones page content container should have. Okay, finally, we're going to add some styles. So we're going to style the list. We're going to give the outer ordered list the class size of large list. And we're going to basically make it 25 pixels in bold for the font weight. And then we want our sub lists to also have some special styles. So it says create another CSS rule that selects the unordered list that are inside of ordered lists. Okay, and gives them a font size of 18 pixels and a normal font weight. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We have quite a bit to do. We're going to do it step by step. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and grab our code. Okay, so I'm going to start with the home page. Okay, so on the home page, you're just going to literally highlight everything, go back over here, and then paste it in. All right, so let's do the oh, the milestones page. The structure has already been created for us. We'll go back and add in the divs in a second. Let's grab our job info code. Okay, so that should be all of this. And paste it. And then finally, the style CSS. Okay, we've been also building this up every single time we come back to the project. So it's getting a little, it's getting longer and longer. All right, so, oops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, there we go. All right, so we got our page all plugged in. Let's run that and make sure that it does look right. Okay, that looks good to me. Job info. Okay. All right, this looks good. And then finally, um, yeah, that's it. All right, so we can close that now. We got the code we needed. Let's go back to the exercise and start working on milestones. So in milestones, we're going to put in a little title. Since I'm doing how to, I'm just going to call this milestones, digital Okay, and then after you give it a title, then you, okay, it says like steps to success. Okay, but this is only a suggestion, so you can use whatever you'd like. You can structure it based how I, on how I did it, or you can use the steps to success title. All right, now let's add the three divs inside of our body. This is exactly how our last three were set up as well. Okay, so we're going to put in three divs, so I'm just going to go ahead 
and copy that. Also, I'm going to indent my code to make it more readable. And we are going to also give them the appropriate classes. The first one's header. The second one is content. And the last one is footer. Okay, now in the header dig, it give the page a header. So we'll give it a h1 tag of milestones to meet. Okay, now in the footer div, put a link to the home page and add a link to the more information page. So I'm going to do the first one to the home page, which is index.html. Okay, this is a link home. And we want to also link to job info, the job info page, so more information. will be the text. Okay, so that should take care of the header and footer. Now we are going to work on the div. This is really the focus of this uh, exercise, which is adding the milestones. So first thing we want to do is an ordered list that contains at least three milestones that we must achieve. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my OL tag and then my list items. We need three of those. Okay, so remember the ordered list is going to number your list item, so it's going to be one, two, three. Now, what's nice about the uh, Occupational Outlook Handbook, uh, when you search your career, there's a bunch of useful tabs. Now, how to become one is perfect for this exercise. So, remember I narrowed down digital content creator to be the most similar to producer. So, this is the one or this is the career title I'm using. Okay, so here are some steps that you might want to use or uh, follow to become a producer or director. Okay, so uh, first step is getting the appropriate education. Okay, I'm not going to read all this information because it's not going to be the same for you unless you're also doing this career, but you should take some time to explore this. Remember, this is an opportunity for you to not just code and achieve the milestone for this class, but to also take an opportunity to do some job exploration. Really great way to knock two things out at once. Okay, so um, I already have my bachelor's degree, but you know what, I could still learn a lot about um, producing. So I'm just going to put maybe um, take some courses in digital content creation. So take Okay, now um, the second thing is maybe getting some work experience in a related occupation. Right now I'm working as a teacher, but I have summers off. Maybe I can get a summer job or a little internship over the summer. So I would look into summer opportunities for production. Okay, and then maybe uh, the last thing uh, lists some important qualities. Okay, so for this career, it's communication skills, creativity, leadership skills, time management skills. I think my creativity uh, skills are pretty sharp, maybe my leadership skills um, as well. I could definitely use some work on my time management skills. So I'll definitely put that as maybe a milestone that I need to work on. So I will put time management skills. Okay, so improve time management skills. All right, so that looks good so far. Let's run this and see how it looks. Okay, so if we run our code, we should be able to see what our web page looks like. I'm gonna open this in a new tab. Okay, so here's my home page. I'm gonna go over to my job information page. All right, I didn't include a link to the uh, milestones page yet. So um, let's go ahead and do that so I can actually jump around. So over on the index page, I'm just gonna go into my footer. Okay, right now it has a link to my job info page. I'm going to put in a link to milestones. Okay. And I also want this to be on the job info page as well. I want to be able to access it from there. So over on my job info page, I'm going to add that as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and refresh my web page now. Okay, so down at the bottom, I should see the link to milestones. I'll click on that. 
Okay, this looks good so far. I do see that my list is here. I see my header. Okay, I don't see my style applying, so that must mean I'm missing my link. So that's uh, something I need to do. And more information isn't linked properly. So let's go ahead and fix those two things. Okay, so back in my milestones page, I'm going to check out what's going on with my more information. So I got the link to the href. Okay, forgot the equals. Okay, so that should fix the link problem. And then up in the head of my document, I wanna make sure I link to my style sheet so that my style applies. Okay, so rel style sheet type text CSS, and then href style.css. Okay, so that should apply my style. Since I know my list is working, let's go ahead and work on that sub list. So, that is basically saying that at least one of the milestones must have an unordered sublist. So basically, a uh, unordered list in one of my of uh, my list items. So I'm going to go ahead and put that under here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make an uh, unordered list, and the unordered list should have some sublists, okay, that list activities that should be done. So since I know I wanna take some courses in digital content creation and I need to improve my time management skills, maybe I can look for something related to that. So maybe a time management course that goes over different um, techniques. Okay, so I'll put that in there. And then maybe I want to look at, you know, I think my video editing skills could use some work. So video editing courses. Okay, that looks good for now. Let's run this or refresh my page to see what the differences are. Okay, so I can see my links working in my footer, my background images uh, looking good, and I got my unordered list in there. So as far as the HTML goes, I think we're good to go. Let's go ahead and wrap this exercise up by working on the styles. So over in my style sheet, I'm gonna go down to the bottom and add my new rules. Okay, so we want to first give the outer ordered list, oh, we need to uh, give it some classes. So over in the outer ordered list, we're gonna give that the class of large list since it's the outer list. And we are going to, um, that's it. Okay, so we're gonna use that large list class in the style sheet. So that's gonna be dot large list. And we're going to give it a font weight of bold and a font size of 25 pixels. Okay, beautiful. All right, now we're going to go ahead and grab the unordered list inside of the ordered list. Okay, so we know that we can do that with a special selector. Okay, so ordered list and then unordered list. Okay, and we want that to be Um, bu, 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 font size. Okay, so font weight normal and font size 18 pixels. Okay, so let's save that. Last refresh. Let's see if we got what we needed. Okay, this looks good. All right, we got our outer list to be um, larger and bold, and we still have our unordered list with a special style. Okay, that wraps up lesson eight, special selectors. Very, very nice work. We are officially uh, over the halfway point for advanced HTML and CSS. You guys are turning into web design experts. Very nice work. Any questions, as always, leave it in a comment. Nice work.